Today we're going to talk about how to create a report within RESA Connection. Now this is a connection file that was brought over from RESA 3D. So you can actually see that there are a number of different connections within this file. And within each connection type, we also have a number of different connections in each group. So we have our project, our group, and then our individual connections. Now, when you create a report within RESA Connection, it's as easy as either using the printer icon or going up to File Print, and then you get this Report Printing dialog. Now, this gives you a lot of options as to what you want included in your report. So this list on the left is all of the available connections in the groups and the individual connections, and the list on the right is which connections you want or included in your report. Now you may not want to include all of your connections, maybe just the governing ones, and so you can go ahead and do that by just clicking which ones you want. For instance, I can click just one connection and have it add, um, or if I wanted to include a whole um, group, then I could actually go through and, and do those individually as well. So it's up to you as to which type of connections or how many you want to have included in your report. And then over here on the left hand side is the general options for the report. So do you want to include the global description? Um, so let's go ahead and take a look at what that means. So in the global uh, parameters within your model, um, you have actually specified what the company name is, who the designer is, what the project title is, and it's asking do you want any of that information included in your report. So I am going to include the global description. And also that second tab which has all the solution options, you can include that as well. And then also include your project summary. So up here on the upper right hand corner, uh, this is your project explorer summary. So it's just kind of going to give you an overview of all the different connections you have and whether they've passed or failed their code check. Now the second section here are the report options. So you have the option of including the 2D and the 3D views. So if I look at any individual connection, uh, you'll have the 3D view here, and then you also have all of these individual 2D views, which can be side views, front views, top views. So depending upon how much you want included in your report, then you can actually include all of those 2D and 3D views. You can include the connection properties if you want. This is going to be the size of the bolts, the um, you know size of the plate information on the beams and the columns and whatever members you're using. Um, and then also, do you want to include the limit state report? And the limit state report is basically the design information. So it's asking you, do you want to include it? And do you want to have a fully expanded view or a fully collapsed view? And what they're talking about here is in the reports tab for each individual connection, this would be a fully collapsed view because all it's telling you is what the limit state is and whether it passed or failed. But if I wanted to expand any of these checks, so if I hit the expand all button, it will actually give me all of the detailed information and calculations about this particular limit state check. So when we go back to our report over here, it's asking do you want to see the fully expanded view with all of this information or the collapsed view with just pass or fail. And then we can also include the members reports and the component reports. Members being the columns, beams, braces that are included, and the components uh, being the, the plates, the bolts, the welds, information like that. And then do you want it to print the governing load combination for all um, connections, or do you want it to print specifically a particular load combination if you have multiple? I think in general I'm probably going to want it to, to print the governing. So let's select a few different connections that we want to include over here in our report. So I've selected four different connections, and now I'm going to click Generate Report. Now for the purposes of this demonstration, I'm actually going to print it to a PDF uh, just so that we can actually see it here on screen. But what it's going to do is it's going to take all of this information that we have, so it's asking to create the global description, everything for these input, report, and load options, and then it's going to create all of that for these individual load combinations that we've asked to include in that report. So I'm going to go ahead and include that in this report, and it's actually going to create the PDF file. Now, I'm doing a PDF so we can view it in this video, um, but obviously if you wanted to send it directly to your printer, you can do that. So you can see all that information that I requested in my uh, in my report explorer, the global parameters for the description and the solution, uh, the project explorer summary for these connections, basically whether they passed or failed, and then all of the individual information. So this is connection 29991, that's just something I labeled from coming out from RESA 3D, um, and here's the connection properties. So it tells you all of the loads, the different components that are used, um, all the beams, the bolts, the welds, uh, everything that's included. And if I scroll down just a little bit more, here's my 3D view of my connection that I asked it to include. 
And then here's all the individual 2D views as well. So I asked it for all of those 2D views. So I have a side view, a front view. And then as I scroll down even further, it's going to give me all of the, the connection or the limit state checks that I asked for, geometry restrictions at the beam, at the flange. So I'm getting all of that detailed information that I asked for. So as you can see within Risa Connection, it's very easy to create a report and to print it. Thank you.